developing this morning, this large fire at a business causing a major traffic mess for hours. Crews fought the flames just down the street from Camping World Stadium, where 63,000 people were gathered for a sold-out soccer match. Emily McLeod is live in downtown Orlando for us. And Emily, this is not the first time that building has caught fire. Yep, that's right. Orlando Fire Chief Charlie Salazar tells us that there have been two other times this business has caught fire. But not only were firefighters and police dealing with that intense fire, they were also dealing with crowd control as thousands of people were let out of a sold out soccer game at Camping World Stadium. Now about 63,000 people were at that soccer game last night. Cars were parked all over the street and some were even prevented from getting to their cars while crews fought the fire. Chief Salazar says this was a two alarm fire when a roof collapsed. That's when they struck that second alarm. Salazar says firefighters went into a defensive attack immediately upon arrival. And because of that roof collapse, firefighters weren't able to get inside right away, which led to little fires burning inside. Salazar says Orlando police were a big help when it came to crowd control and protecting their water lines. It would have been really chaotic without police help. So I think because this was a large event to begin with, a, a sport event, there was already lots of police officers on site. They're good partners and they always do a really good job whenever we respond to structure fires. Chief Salazar says they are able to knock down the fire pretty quickly, but as of right now, we don't know the cause of this fire or what materials may have been inside the business that caught fire. Now, last night, Salazar said it would probably be today that an inspector could get inside when it's light outside. So as soon as we get more details about this fire, we'll be sure to bring them to you. For now, reporting live in downtown Orlando, I'm Emily McLeod, getting results, News 6.